Thought you were a better wrestler than that, Sridham. I didn't know I would have to wrestle a cow. A cow is a sacred animal, Sridham. Would you worship Madhu? Uh, 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 I worship Vishnu and pray that he gets this cow off of me. <laughs> then your prayer shall be granted, my friend. Uh, 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 <laughs> that wasn't fair, Krishna. Why did you let the Diloba get it? I didn't. Vishnu did. <laughs> Kusuma Bana is so bountiful with flowers this time of year. Our baskets will soon be overflowing with garlands. We shall have to take another path. Why? <laughs> Krishna is watching us with mischief in his eyes. He's planning something. I can sense it. What can Krishna do to us? His hands are busy milking the cow. I, for one, will not take a longer path for fear of him. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Lakshmi? Why did you squirt Radha? She thought you'd like some fresh milk. <laughs> You've done quite enough milking for one day, Krishna. Yes, Mother. I'll take the cows out to pasture. Ah. Stop that horrible noise! It's giving me a headache. Where is my shipment of nectar from the forest of Thalaman? There, sir. It's about time. Pour me some nectar and tell me about Tenukasura. Has he killed my angel of death? I'm sorry, my lord, but Tenukasura is dead. Mm. Dead? Yes, my lord. We cannot be sure, but we think he may have been killed by your angel of death. <sighs> the prophecy is true. He'll kill me next if I don't kill him first. <sighs> Unload the rest of the nectar. I need it to clear my head. I'm sorry, my lord, but this is all there is. The one who slew Denukasura gave the rest of Talavan's fruit to the villagers of Vrindavan. <laughs> there must be someone who can destroy that child before he destroys me. <laughs> If I may uh, suggest, my lord, Arista Sura the bull is a fearsome demon. I will never forget when he uprooted mountains with his horns and threw them in the air. Yes, he was a deadly bull. If anyone can kill my angel of death, it is Arista Sura. Order him to come at once. Hurry! Yes, my lord. These garlands will make this year's Surya Puja the most beautiful one ever. And I'll be the most beautiful gopi at the Sun Festival. Stop daydreaming, Vishaka, or we won't finish in time for the festival. <laughs> Radha, what are you doing? Picking flowers for Surya Puja. Picking flowers without my permission is what you are doing. <laughs> we don't need your permission. Ah. Did you see that? This thief is ruining my flowers. Who made you king of the forest? You've never sown a single seed or watered a single plant. You are the one who's ruining the Kusumavana with your cows and wild friends. Are you to defame a pious, righteous person such as me? Ha! The pious and righteous Krishna killed a woman right after his birth. Bhutna was a wicked witch who came to kill Krishna. 
Not only that, he lied to his mother and stole butter from the houses of the neighboring gopis. Mmm, yes, and it was delicious too. And when he became a little older, he went so far as to steal the clothes of the young gopi girls. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. But just a few days ago, Krishna even killed a calf. But Vatsasura was a demon. That is the extent of Krishna's pious saintly conduct. So says you. But I am getting yourself deeper into trouble with every word. I can see my divine righteousness is not appreciated here. Let's go find some better grazing. Vrindavan. So this is where Kamsa's angel of death lives, but not for long. A frightened child cannot be the one I am looking for. Oh, Komala, where is my little angel? Each day I count every beat of my heart as I wait for his return. I know how you feel, Yashoda. I too anxiously await his return to hear what miraculous feats Krishna has performed today. Miraculous feats? Ah, yes. I shall lay in wait for this one called Krishna. Lalita! Vishaka! I found the most beautiful flowers. If only I could reach them. <clears throat> What's that jingling? <clears throat> Probably just a cow bell. Go back to sleep. That's no cowbell. Uh. What is it? Uh. What are you going to do? Pay back Radha for her insolence. We need more flowers, Radha. <clears throat> Don't be in such a hurry. I'll get them. There's so much lower now. Hmm. The gods must be looking down on me. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Lalita! Vishaka! Help! Aha! Uh -huh. The flower thieves are back. We must guard these trees day and night, boys. Let go, Radha. We'll catch you. Ah, none of those are the one. But if Kamsa's angel of death is as miraculous as they say, surely he will return quickly. If I threaten his village...
have already taken their cows home, Krishna. Mother Yashoda will be worried if you don't return soon. I will guard my flowers all night if I have to. Oh, why are you so stubborn, Krishna? We needed those garlands for the Surya Puja. That is not my problem. These flowers are for Lord Vishnu now. What was that? It sounded like a <gasps> demon. <laughs> Yes, Krishna. Come save your cherished Vrindavan. <laughs> Don't go, Krishna. It's a trap. It may be, but I can't ignore the cries of Vrindavan's people. Krishna! <laughs> I think you've insulted him. Madhu! Spare him! Krishna! Shall I milk him like I did the others? <laughs> you won't laugh for long. You are no towering demon, but the lowest of creatures. Why do you frighten the good people of Vrindavan? If you have come to challenge me, then fight me like a demon, not a worm. Krishna! Some too. Uh, oh, I've eaten enough sweets to fill a demon's belly. Uh, I need to lay down. Um, and I need more ratus. <laughs> <laughs> well, little brother. Today you have surely added to your list of great miracles. You mean added to his list of sins, don't you? 
Now the pious and righteous Krishna has killed a bull as well. He was not a bull, but a terrible demon disguised as a bull. Oh, Krishna, that may be true. Still, he was a male cow. And you must atone for your sin. Mm, very well. I shall bathe in the Yamuna tomorrow. Ha! Huh. That's not enough. Lalita is right. To atone for such a grave sin, you must purify yourself by bathing in every holy river in the world. I... I... I've got a great idea. Why wander throughout the world when I can bring all the holy rivers here and take my bath in them? Oh, Krishna, stop dreaming. Am I? Just watch. and always connected with the Vedas, Saints, and Lord Vishnu. I am Narmada, and I have come from the body of Lord Shiva. And I am your favorite, Yamuna, daughter of Surya, the Sun God. I will be cleansed simply by your touch. Please, enter my waters. It will be my pleasure. Uh, this pond shall be called Shyama Kund. Its holy waters are so refreshing. Now I have become pure from bathing in my Shyama Kund. But you three have become contaminated from siding with the demon, Arishtasura. Come, bathe away your sins in my pond. No, the water in your pond is soiled by your sin. We shall make our own pond. Yes, right here, where Arishtasura dug his hoof into the earth. <laughs> Radha. But where is your holy water? Hm, it will come. If you're waiting for the rain, I'm sorry to report. There isn't a cloud in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you won't accept some of my contaminated water? No, thank you. We'll bring pure water from the Mansi Ganga. They could use my help, Balaram. Surely no one else could build their needs, dear brother. Oh, it's no use. It will take a lifetime to fill this pond. <laughs> I see you're fatigued and distraught. Please accept our service. 
and allow us to fill your pond with our holy waters. Yes! Thank you! There is no other way! Your pond, Radhakund, is even more beautiful than mine. This will always be my favorite pond. I shall come and bathe here every day. Your pond is also very beautiful, Krishna. I shall bathe and play with my friends here every day. <laughs> <laughs>